Dozens of mosquito species carry malaria. It takes an entomologist with years of training to identify one from another. Unfortunately, there's a shortage of these specialists in Africa where gathering this information is critical for health officials to fight malaria. But what if you could have an entomologist in your pocket? That's what a device called VectorCam is giving us. To fight your enemy, you have to know your enemy, right? To eliminate malaria, you cannot do so without understanding which types of mosquitoes are responsible for malaria. Some mosquitoes prefer to bite indoors, some are outdoor biters, some thrive primarily on human blood, and some of animal blood as well. There's a variety of measures that are used to control mosquitoes. Indoor residual spraying, long-lasting insecticide-coated bed nets, larval source management, they're not equally as effective against all the species. Without a precise knowledge of what are the species responsible for malaria, you're kind of going at it blind. But only entomologists are able to identify these mosquitoes by looking at very subtle features, patterns on their wings, antenna, legs, abdomen, head. With the help of the community health workers, we have been collecting these vectors. The collection in a village may come to more than 800 mosquitoes in a day. I need five minutes to identify just one mosquito, squeezing my eyes under the microscope. That becomes a very big bottleneck in trying to deploy and scale up vector control measures. What you could possibly have is a new way of thinking. With our team, we asked, could this be done by an AI algorithm? And that's what led to the creation of a device which we now call VectorCam. So VectorCam is a very simple plastic device with a small magnifying lens that converts your low-cost smartphone into a virtual entomologist. VectorCam is designed for use by community members using what is known as a convolutional neural network trained on tens of thousands of mosquito images by looking at a magnified picture of any new specimen presented to it. The neural network can identify what its species is, what's the abdominal status, the sex, and it can do so in a quick fraction of a second. I feel now very energized that if VectorCam is broadly deployed in Uganda, we shall have all of malaria vectors identified as quick as possible, and we shall have the intervention quickly implemented. <laughs>